all over Hollywood are shaking in their boots tonight yeah. because we now know who will be hosting this year's Golden Globes. And Ryan Trimble tells us tonight it's not his first time up on that big stage, is it, Ryan? That is correct, John. He made a lot of people pretty angry last time he hosted, but NBC at least doesn't seem to mind because they want Ricky Gervais to come back and host the Golden Globes next year. Now, the Hollywood Foreign Press tweeted out the news today with the hashtags he's back and Golden Globes. They've been hosted the past three years by queens of comedy Tina Fey and Amy Poehler, but Gervais had the gig before them from 2010 to 2012. Now he's back. The Golden Globes, which lots of people see as sort of a precursor to the Oscars, celebrate film and television and air January 10th over on our sister station, WECT. Next up, Lucasfilms may be focusing a ton of energy on the Star Wars films right now, but that doesn't mean they're not making other movies. And today we got word about one of their other projects that they will eventually put on the big screen again. And when I say eventually, I mean a very, very far off eventually for a brand new Indiana Jones movie. Now a fifth film is being planned. And today the film's producer, Frank Marshall, announced that they won't recast the character. Now Jones has been famously played by Harrison Ford, who is 73 years old, I might add, for the first four movies. Now Marshall said that they won't do something like the James Bond movies and just have someone new jump in under the same name. But he stopped short of actually saying Ford himself would play the role. Lastly, if you're not sure what you want to be for Halloween this weekend, but know you want to do something different than everyone else, you should check out this thing that's trending on Google. It is called Frightgeist. I have it right here on the iPad, and it lets you see how popular costumes are according to Google. Now, you can either type in a costume like I did up there, say Star Wars, and it'll show you uh, how likely you are to find another one. Or, now this is really neat, you can zoom in if it'll let me, yep, it's going to be a little silly, but you can zoom in and see different Halloween costumes for different areas. Now, I checked out the info available for our area, and in Wilmington, the top five costumes are Batman, a princess, Spider-Man, Rainbow Dash from My Little Pony, and a pirate. And if you're wondering which of them I'm going as, the answer is yes, all of them. And that's a look at what's trending tonight. We'll be right back after this.